Yo guys, what's up? Uh, I'm gonna show you a game between uh, Paul Morphy, who plays White, and uh, Count Izuard. I think that's how you say his name. I really don't give a shit, though. Uh, yeah, they played in 1858, and it's a pretty fucking awesome game. So, Paul Morphy starts off with the uh, King's Pawn opening, then Black, King's Pawn. Boom, 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 typical stuff. And then he plays the Fildor Defense, which isn't very popular anymore. I think it used to be a bit more popular, but it's a pretty shitty fucking opening. So he plays normal, and then Count Izuard plays, like, his other shitty move. I don't know what he's fucking thinking. Takes, takes, that's forced, or else he drops a pawn, because, like, takes, takes, check, over, and boom. And White's got quite the advantage here. So he takes, forced, and then uh, six moves into the game, Paul Morphy's already fucking threatening checkmate on f7, queen takes fucking f7, so he defends, developing a piece, queen goes over, and now uh, Paul Morphy's making uh, two attacks here at once, he's threatening to play, uh, let's say, yeah, he's threatening to take on f7, which isn't quite a fucking good move. He's also threatening to take on b7, and, uh, yeah, they're both pretty dangerous. So, uh, Izuard plays there, uh, and now Morphe, he could go and take on b7, but then, uh, he goes into an ending where he's up a pawn. It's pretty good, but, uh, it's still kind of a bitch move, because he's got this, like, attacking aggressive position, and then he just goes into an ending when he's, like, fucking, just fucking up a fucking pawn, when he, he really should just go and play a wild sacrificial game, because that's Paul Morphy's style. So, he doesn't play that bitch move. He moves his knight out, developing and defending his pawn on e4, and now he's threatening to take on b7, and, and actually, uh, the queen b4, queen b4 won't work anymore, because, um, because he'll just take the rook, and there's no check. So, uh, so here, uh, Black plays that, defending on b7, and doesn't lose his fucking rook. Now, Paul Morphy plays his bishop out, aggressive move, he, he pins the knight, so if this knight ever moves, he's now gonna lose his queen. So, uh, uh, Count Izuwar's not gonna move his knight, or else he gets fucking screwed. And now, uh, he, he plays a pretty audacious move, he, he threatens the, uh, he moves his pawn up, Threatens this bishop. This bishop now looks like, oh shit, I'm gonna have to fucking go backwards. But really, uh, Paul Morphy finds an even more audacious move. He fucking sacrifices his fucking knight for two pawns, so Black takes back in check. And now, uh, now Black has some has something to worry about here. He uh, he can't move his knight back because he loses the queen. He can't he can't move his queen over, so he brings his knight in. Now, uh, pinned a piece. This knight is pinned, and this knight is pinned, so neither of them can move, so they're, they're basically, like, useless sitting there, blocking everything up. So, uh, so what are you doing? There's a pinned piece, you fucking attack it. So now, uh, if it were White's move, he would take this knight, and, uh, he would just win the knight, because he can't, Black can't take back, he's fucking screwed. So, uh, Black defends. And, uh, now, uh, less crazy player might say develop his uh move his rook up or something and then double them but uh morphy's not gonna fucking play that he fucking takes this knight and now uh blacks up a whole rook but that uh, doesn't daze morphy in this position he's just fucking badass as hell he just brings his other rook over and now this rook is pinned and uh He's threatening to take it, the same as before. And then if he takes that rook on d7, white fucking moves his rook from d1 to d7, black has nothing that he can fucking do, so so he just brings his queen up. And now if Morphe decides, oh, okay, shit, I could trade queens, but, but he's actually screwed if he does because uh, he's going to be down a rook. He, he's going to be able to get the exchange back, so he'll be down a piece, but it's still not a good idea. Actually, you know what? He could play this. And then he's got a, a slightly better end. He's got a winning ending. But what he plays is even better. Uh, he actually uh, takes this. Um, and uh, Black.
black has to take back with the knight. And now White is, uh, it, it looks for a second like White's fucking screwed out of his mind, because he's, he's down a hole, he's down, like, shitloads of material here. He's down, oh, he's only down a piece, never mind. Yeah, but he still looks like he's fucking screwed until you see this. Queen checks, sacks his queen, and then, uh, in checkmate, White wins. It's pretty fucking awesome, because he just... In this game, he just kept on moving forward. He never moved his pieces backward. He just like kept on pushing and pushing and pushing, and then he sacrifices all of his pieces by the end, and he's checkmating with his only two pieces that he has left. That's fucking badass playing by Paul Morphy right there, motherfucker.